Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. Well, we've still got a couple more mornings ahead. We're going to want to think about your plants outside. And of course, you want to make sure your pets can get warm any of these mornings, even in the 40s. That's chilly, uh, but we're going to have a freeze tonight and then frost possible on Friday night into Saturday morning. So next two nights, still a danger for those plants, but we have had our first hard freeze in the upstates. The growing season has ended. Uh, then we'll be looking at less frost, but still chilly uh, first thing in the morning. So your next 24 hours tonight, third in the upstates is still below freezing, just not quite as cold as it was this morning. And we'll be looking at the afternoon a little milder. Uh, still cool though, 61 uh, in the Greenville area, 58 for the Asheville uh, area, 61 in Spartanburg, 62 in Anderson. Now maybe you're hitting up a Friday night football game. It should feel pretty comfortable to you with that sunshine at 6 o'clock, but notice how temperatures drop quickly. We'll be in the 40s between 8 and 9 o'clock. So bring your jackets for those games. Now the next big thing is the warm up in our temperatures. We're going to go from 50s today to 60s Friday and then 70s could even be pushing 80 degrees into next week. In fact, we're looking warmer than average next week. So, you know, the old saying in South Carolina, if you don't like the weather right now, just wait around a couple days. That's pretty much the situation at this point. If you're heading to Notre Dame at Clemson, this is going to be a big one. Uh, temperatures near 70 uh, as we uh, get to kick off, but it'll be chilly in the morning for tailgating. So dress in layers. Make sure you have the jacket, but then something maybe short sleeve to wear during the game. And then South Carolina taking on Jacksonville State at home. Low 70s, just beautiful around Columbia. So we've got some great weather to look ahead to for the weekend. Couldn't order it up too much better. Don't forget to set those clocks back an hour. We'll talk more in depth about that coming up. But uh, Saturday night and Sunday morning, that's when you'll want to do it. And then into next week, well, I'm just loving it. Highs in the 70s. We could use some rainfall, though. Parts of our area have actually gotten into severe drought uh, and uh, there is no rain inside at this point. Uh, we're looking at 50s for the mountains tomorrow and then 60s this weekend. 70s even return for the higher terrain next week.